these people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon have given to you just as I, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause these people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, not, but you shall meditate it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Praise be to God for the reading of His Word. Amen. Amen. Uh, may I request everybody to please pray for me. Heavenly Father, once again, we just want to thank you. We just want to honor you. We just want to adore you. Thank you, Lord, for this day, O Lord God, that you've given us the opportunity to be in this place again. Thank you, Lord, for that protection, O Lord, that you have given to each and every one of us. Truly, O Lord, your love, O Lord God, always surrounds us. Your love always protects us. Your love is always with us, O Lord God. And Lord, in this worship celebration, O Lord God, Lord, we just want you to be heard. We just want your word to sink in into our body and soul, O Lord God. And we want your presence, O Lord. Lord, just use me, O Lord God, as your footstool and hide me, O Lord God, so that your glory, your presence, your love, and your peace we will be felt in all of us today, O Lord. And all we rebuke all the words of the devil in Jesus' name, O Lord God. And we pray, O Lord, that this victory celebration, O Lord God, will only for your glory. Thank you, Father. This is a prayer of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Pwede na po maupo? Amen. God is good. All the time. Anong papagod pa sila. God is good. All the time. Now the time. God is good. Can I please see the hands of those uh, of the non-Pilipinos? Can you please raise your hand? Non-Pilipinos. Non-Pilipinos. Ang dami. Hindi <laughs> non-Pilipino. One, two. Three? Anybody else? Hap hap? Ano ka ba? Amen. So, brothers Kamal, and what's your good name? What's your good name? Junel. Brother Junel and Brother Yugo. Can somebody please approach them because I will be using Tagalog today. <laughs> no, okay? Amen. Kamal will be there. Kamal is half Filipino and half Nepali now, no? Pwede ba tawag doon? Pe? <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. All and all the time, yes. tell the person beside you, Ang pogi mo. Amen. You know what is pogi? In Tagalog, pogi means handsome and good looking. Look at brother Christian. Glory to God. Bro. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but the real meaning of pogi is presence of God inside. Kaya kahit babae ka, pwede mo sabihin, ang pogi mo! Amen! Pero sabi niyo mga, mga mababae, hindi, we 
want to be, we prefer to be called maganda. Amen? Tell the person beside you, maganda ka. Maganda ka means beautiful in Filipino. And what is the meaning of maganda? Sabay-sabay tayo, basahin natin. si Kaina, oh, talagang maganda yan. Amen? So, pogi ka na, maganda ka pa. Amen? Amen. It's because God is with us. Amen? At syempre, promotion muna tayo, order na rin yung t-shirt. Chat lang. Commercial muna, pampalis na ka pa kanina pa ako inakabahan. I'm feeling very nervous. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Before I, before I start, there's a story to tell si Smith at Johnson lagi nagagamit ngayon eh, no? The, this is Smith and Johnson. Uh, there's a story. We have a Friday uh, youth service, no? Friday, Friday, Sunday school, tama? Yung mga kapatahan, the, the youths are in the other room. But one time, the youths finished early. So the teacher said, okay, let's go to, to the worship service. And when they are going inside, uh, they are uh, having the message like this. So the teacher said to the children, be quiet, be quiet. Okay, mom, we will keep quiet. Sabi niya nun. And then, they are seated all, and then the teacher said, Do you know why I'm telling you always to keep quiet? Yes, mom. Okay, tell me why. So that I will not wake up the sleeping people. <laughs> May natutulong ba sa si Kaina? Wala. Wala. Amen. Praise God. Tingnan natin ngayon. Amen. The title of this message, sabay-sabay. I'll reach your promise Amen. This, the, the word of the Lord is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. Amen. Just for a, a background of who is Joshua. Joshua is the son of Nun. His father's name is Nun. Hindi wala siyang tatay, ha? And then, he is born in Egypt when the time that the Israelites are in Egypt. So, by, by passport, Egyptian passport, dual citizenship. And then one, he's one of the 12 spies. Kasama niya si Paminta, si Bechim, si Asin. Ay, tama ba? Spia pala, sorry, spy. Not spices. Amen? And then he's from the tribe of Ephraim, Moses' successor. So it's basically his second in command. And then he's descendant of Shem. Kilala niya si Shem? Sino si Shem? Who is Shem? Si Shem, tatay ni Noah, anak ni Noah. Amen? And then he lived from 1355 to 1245 BC. And he died at the age of 110. And basically, Joshua means, sabay-sabay? Amen? You know, there's a meaning with all our names. Amen? So just look at it. Amen? And then, I'm just going to give you the, the background of the story. And then in verse 1, this is in Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. After the death of Moses, servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses is assistant, Moses, uh, Moses, my servant, is dead. So basically, God is telling Joshua, uh, Moses is dead now. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan. And this is Jordan, ha? Amen? So it's basically, it's their, their morning. Hindi, hindi gabi, maga. Their morning. Nagpasta ka lang morning? Nagdadalamhati ko rin talaga. Amen. Nalulungkot sila because the Moses servant is dead. So, so Joshua maybe is still uh, feeling the loss of Moses because Moses is their leader. Nalulungkot sila. But God told to Joshua, Arise! Go over this Jordan. So maybe basically they're near the Jordan River. Uh, and then, you and all these people, See, Joshua, medyo lungkot-lungkot pa siya. He's still feeling the loss. And number two, that's why he's, you know, he's maybe he's very down that time, is because he knows that he is the second in command. Siya yung assistant. And you and I know that Moses is a great messenger of God. He's a great instrument of God. What are those uh, miracles that God used uh, uh, Moses? Moses have done for God. Alin yun? Yung ginamit siya ni Lord? Yung Red Sea. Divided by... Two. Two. Yung hinati yung daga. Diba? At marami pa yung the plagues in, the, in Egypt. So maybe Joshua is feeling the, the, the fear. He's feeling, you know, the worry. How can I feel what Moses' shoe? It's very big. Anong size kaya? Amen? So he's feeling yung takot. 
And then, but God said, arise, go over this Jordan. Jordan is a river like Dead Sea. They have to cross it. And you and I know what happened to the Red Sea. Uh, the Lord split it into two. That's one thing. So you, you see, when they walk on the land, uh, on the sea, it was split into two. But another good thing that God did is they walk on dry land. Imagine, hinati yung dagat, he split the sea and he made the soil under the water dry. So you see, the miracles of God is working in, in Moses. And that and that's why Joshua is afraid na may siyempre hesitant siya, no? And then God tell them, arise and go over to this Jordan, you and all these people, into the land I am giving them. The people of Christ, you know, the beauty of our God. His promises, He will make sure that He will give it to you. If He said to you that I will never leave you nor forsake you, sigurado yun. Amen? Ang sabi niyo rito, no? The land that I am giving to them, the promise is given to whom? Kanino binigay promise? Kay A. Abraham. And this is already Moses. So after Abraham, the promise is given to Isaac. The promise is given to Jacob. The promise is given to Moses. And now, Joshua, you will inherit the land. Yun ang ganda. No? Pansin niyo, no? Pag may tinanim na kabutihan ng magulang mo, if your parents have done something good in their life, yung mga bata ang nag-aani. Tama? Ang mahirap minsan, yung utang ng natay, tatay, sila nag-aani rin. Eh. Pero wala si sikain na doon. Amen? Praise God. And then, every place that the soul of your foot will tread upon have given to you just as I promised to Moses. So God is always reminding about the promise. Amen? Do you remember any promise of God? Amen. Sige, ano? Sample. Ano po yung Proverbs 19.14? Houses and riches are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is named from the Lord. Jesus, it's very hard to memorize. Amen? So, God is reminding that every soul of your foot will tread upon and given to you just as I promised to Moses. Meron kang blessing doon. Your blessings is waiting on the other side. Your inheritance is waiting on the other side. You Shekinah people, that's a blessing waiting for you. Amen. Just claim it. Amen. Amen? Praise God. And then, verse 4, from the wilderness in this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the great river, you praise, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea toward going down to sun shall be your territory. Ang laki nun, kapatid. That uh, blessings, it's very, very big. It's huge. The territorial blessing is very, very huge. And God is reminding that you will claim the inheritance. Amen? Amen. Sino may gusto ng blessing? Amen. Amen. Pero sabi, you have to arise and go. You must act on your faith. Sino kaya magkakaroon ng trabaho magtutulog-tulog? Amen? Kahit napakagaling mo, even though you are a master's degree, doctorate degree, if you will not apply, wala. You have to act on your faith. Amen? At verse 5, no, sh no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Protectado pa siya. Joshua and the people of Israelites are protected. Look at the person beside you. Protected ni Lord yan. God is protecting that person beside you. Amen? Sabi nga nung preaching ni Pastor Francis, 911, you have an angel. Amen? Tingnan mo yung katabi mo, kamukha angel. Amen. Amen? Praise God, ang hell na. Amen? Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Brothers and sisters, the word of God is alive. And if this uh, word of God have been spoken to, to Joshua time, God is saying to you, I am with you. Amen? Sino pa matatakot? Kasama mo si Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. I will never leave you, nor walang iwanan, kapatid. I will not forsake you. Yung kaibigan mo, iwanan ka niyan. Pero si Lord, hindi. Amen. Amen? But look at this on verse 6. Hindi yung pakaiba, no? Be strong and courageous. Imagine, Joshua, one of the twelve spies, suddenly, sasabihin ni Lord, God will say, be strong and courageous. Hello? We know the story of the twelve spies. 
So, so for those uh, brethren na hindi nakakalam, before when they were in Canaan, doon sa kabilang side, Moses had called 12 people to go to to spy on that fertile land, the, the, the land flowing with milk and honey. And then the 10 uh, the ten spies told them that, no, we cannot defeat them. They are big, they're amalakites, they're anakites, kites, 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 pati nakaw tights. Nandun. Nandun sila sa kabila. But, but, uh, Joshua and Caleb, no, we can defeat them, we can conquer them, because God is with us. Amen. Amen. Tapos sa sabihin ni Lord, be strong and courageous. Tingin nyo kaya bakit? Do you think why God is telling Joshua to be strong and courageous? We know that Joshua is strong and courageous, right? But why did God say Joshua, be strong and courageous? You know why? The difference from that point in time and this point in time is for 40 years. And Maybe Joshua is 40 years old that time, matapang na tao, alam sa tao. But now he is, if it's his 40 before, now he is. Joshua is thinking, how can I let these people go? Judge, talaban tayo. Siguro yun ang iisip ni Joshua nung he's very old that time. How can I let these people, Lord? Ganun yun na siya, ano? That's why God is reminding you, even though you're old, you have to be strong and Courageous. For you shall cause these people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them a blessing, ka kapatid. Punin mo lang. Amen? And then in verse 7, only be strong and courageous. Pangalawang basis na. Maybe because Joshua that time, as you know, nag-iisip-isip siya. Ayaw ko ba doon? That's why God is often reminding us that I am with you, I am with you, I am with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. You know the problem, brothers and sisters? Sometimes God is always uh, whispering. He's telling that, Son, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Son, tomorrow, I will pay you all your credit cards. Tomorrow, you will conquer this uh, giant of yours. Tomorrow, you will be prosperous. But sometimes we heard the people surrounding us. Sabi nga ng preaching, naka-megaphone lang daw yun yung kalaban. Always listen to that soft, small voice of God. But down here, God is telling Moses, uh, for Joshua, be strong and courageous, be careful to do according to all the law that Moses and servant commanded you. Do not turn in it from it, right? Uh, right hand or to left, that you may have good success wherever you go. You have to read the Bible, you have to, to meditate. Be careful not to go left nor right. Huwag ka raw, ano, yung ano tawag ko, magdawar-dawar. Dawar-dawar yung circle-circle. Amen? She just have to go straight. See the alatol. Bakit? Karpat. No, 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 no. Karkat-karkat. Amen? You have to go straight. Amen? Do not turn from right and right, left that you may have good success wherever you go. Who among you here wants success? Amen. Read your Bible. Amen? Amen? And then on verse 8, the famous verse 8, But this book of law shall not... Sabi, sabi po tayo. One, two. This book of law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have to do success. Amen. Before, in verse 6, you will be successful. In verse 8, prosperous and very good success. But you have to read your Bible. Amen? This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that's written, and if then you will make your way prosperous. Everybody say prosperous. Prosperous. Amen? And you will have good success. Hindi yung commercial. But this is really prosperous and successful because God is with us. Amen? Praise God. So, you know, we should read the Bible always because this is our constant guide in life. Bible stands for basic. You should read it if you're living earth. Yung ayaw mo may iwan dito, kung masahin. Kung gusto mo may iwan dito, kung masahin niya. Amen? But you and I are all biyahing. All of us are going to heaven. Amen? Praise God. Tell the person beside you, I'll see you in heaven. I'll see you in heaven. Amen, ha? Praise God. Praise God. Kaya pagkakamunin yung mukhang yan. 
look at the face of the people of that brethren because you will see you there. Amen? Because you know, this is something, uh, you, didn't you have, we read, we read before that La, uh, Lazarus and the rich man, right? Abraham knows Lazarus, but the person who doesn't have God inside, he don't know the name. Pero ikaw, because God is, Jesus is with you, He knows your name. Amen. Amen. Kaya doon, Christian, Tolitz, Francis, Ernest, Wendell. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Pogi. Amen. Parsyano. Amen. Praise God. And then on verse 9, again, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Paulit-ulit si Lord, how many times God is telling us, do not be, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous here, do not be frightened, do not be dismayed, kinumpleto na ni Lord. God is always reminding us of His great love for us. And don't forget that Jesus died for us. He was nailed on the cross, He was beaten. Sabi niya yung kanta, no? I'm first, uh, you were forsaken. I'm forgiven because you are I'm accepted oh, yun yun. but the point is Jesus has taken all those bad things for the sake of us Amen. he has sacrificed himself because he wants us to be there into that promised land Amen? maliwanag po may tanong Pag may tanong, uh, Pastor Francis, Pastor Ernest, for that. Amen? So, what's the message for today? Okay, but before that, there are seven instructions and seven messages. Ilang minuto na ako. Amen? Uh, there are seven instructions. First, you have to arise and go. Tayo ka, punta ka doon. Because, you will claim your inheritance. And then, be strong. Because, you will claim your territory. Another, be courageous. Why? Because, you will get 24 by 7. Yes, God will never leave you or forsake you. But the moment you become a weakling, the moment you become a warrior, you will not feel that presence because you're already afraid. But God will never leave you. Don't forget that. Amen? And then next, if you do not worry, God is with you. If you do not fear, you will be prosperous. See, poor blessing to pinagtatuusapan natin. Amen? If you meditate the law, you will be victorious in life. If you obey the law, you will be successful. Amen. Yun yung message ni Lord sa atin, pwede na ako umupo. Amen? Please God, but God is so good that He always remember us the blessing that is waiting for us. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Now, what? How to reach your promise? land? Ito pa yung mensahe. Ito pa lang yung introduction. <laughs> Amen? And then, number one, you have to focus on God. Focusing on Jesus, make God your goal in life. Amen? Sabi dito, you cannot reach anywhere if you will focus on your past. <laughs> Mahirap umanda pag pinofocus mo, yung nakaraan mo. The people around you, you're focusing on the people around you, your situation, your problem, your worries, your fears, and what the people will say to you. You cannot move if you are thinking what people will say to you. Tama? You will not go anywhere, brothers and sisters, if you don't have a goal. If you will just keep on telling to yourself, ano kayo sasabihin nila sa akin pag ito's goal? Ano kayo sasabihin nila sa akin pag nagpunta ako o hindi sa Bible study? Ano kayo sasabihin nila sa akin pag, pag, pag tumugtog ako sumablay yung drums ko? Ano kayo sasabihin nila sa akin pag nagkamali ako ng Tagalog o English? Oh, ganun. The reason why you are and I are here right now is not to, to show or to impress the people around you, but to glorify God. Amen? Mahal tayo ni Lord at kaya lang tayo nandito sa grasya niya. The reason why you and I are here right now is because God has allowed us to be here. Kung ayaw nga, tinilis na tayo ng nanay at tatay natin mo. Amen? You and I are here right now because God allowed you to be here right now. Amen. To be here na right now pa, dobi-dobi yun. Amen? You must have a goal in life. A life without goal is pointless. Everybody say pointless. Pointless. Amen? And the best goal in life is focusing on God and making Him the center of everything. Amen? Maliwanan po ba yun? Amen? So, starting today, o yung iba, alam ko, nakafocus na kay Lord, eh. just refocus our, fo re re refocus our thoughts unto God alone. Amen? Pag ginawa mo tama, hindi ka magkakamali. Sure yun. 100%. Amen? 
Ako naman yun. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things on earth. Look, tingin. Kaya pagkuntuha ako pag si Pastor Francis nagpapakilala tayo eh. Biyahin natin. Amen? Kasi totoo naman yun eh. Biyahin lang eh tayo. Ano bang ginagawa mo rito kung hindi ka pumunta ron? Huwag ka lang pumunta rito kung hindi ka na-expect pumunta ron. What are you doing here if you are not wishing for you to be in heaven? Di ba? Umalis ka na lang dito. Kaya tayo nandito. The reason why you and I are here right now is because you and I know that we are biyahing langit, going to heaven. For the land of Pilipinas, biyahing langit means going to heaven. Say that, brother Hugo. Biyahing langit. Oh, see, he knows now, ah. Biyahing langit. Amen? Tell that to brother Martin. Amen? Set your minds on the things above. Hindi yung nasa baba. Hahatakin ka niya, kapatid. Ganun yung kalaban eh. Kung ano ni sinasabi sa iyo, oh, pangit ka, buti na lang pogi tayo, tsaka maganda. Amen. Amen. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> yung totoo yun eh. Isipin nyo yung negative things, and negative things will pull you down. But the positive things will bring you up. Ang gusto ni Lord, no? Sabi nga, no? God loves a cheerful giver. Nandun yung cheerful. He wants that smile in your face lagi. Amen? Praise God. And then next, favorite ni, sino mga favorite ito? Si Gia ba ito? Si Christian. 1 Corinthians 10.31 So whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Again, don't do or don't come here because you want to please somebody. Come here because you want to please God. Play the organ because you want to please God. Or serve the Lord because you want to please God. Hindi yung tao. Yes, may mga leaders tayo, may mga elders, may mga ministries and ministry members, but them also are just being used by God. And we should respect them. We should, you know, honor them because they are appointed by God. Pero hindi sila. Sino? Ang tatang muna sa buhay natin. Amen? And then, finally, whatever. Pakibasa, sabay-sabay. Sometimes we are in the crossroad of life. Now, this verse is a good example on how are we going to judge situation. Means that you are having a hard time making a decision. Am I going to do this or do this? Or do this or do this? Check if it's Philippians. It will fall on the margins of Philippians 4.8. Am I going to give to the poor? Am I going to tell this to him or her? In every situation that you think, medyo mahirap ang decision, check Philippians 4.8. And I believe God will answer you through that pass, passage. And it, it's hard to memorize. If you are in a situation that you don't know what to do, just think, if Jesus is on my situation, what would Jesus do? WWJD. Don't ever forget that. If you are in a deep situation, what would Jesus do if He is on my side? If, if He is on this uh, situation? Always think of Philippians 4, 8, and what would Jesus do in a situation like this? And I, you, and I believe na magiging smooth lahat pag ang inisip natin si Lord. Amen? And then, now, I was compelled by God to say this. Because uh, three weeks have passed, meron ng verse na binigay si Lord when I was meditating. I've been praying God, Lord, what is the verse? Two, three weeks, four weeks past, he gave me John, Joshua 1 to 9. But as I've said to Pastor Ernest, I don't have the, it's only skeleton. It doesn't have the, the word in it. It doesn't have the meat. And then one time God has tell, spoke to me. Tell them what happened to you. For those people who don't know, I am high blood and I am high cholesterol. That was last month. Because I am not focusing on my health. Kain po ako ng kain ng fat burger kasi sa fat burger po ako nagkatrabaho. Commercial na naman yan. Nasobrahan po. Nahi, I become high in cholesterol and fats. But God is telling that if you want to glorify me, if you want to be used in my kingdom, you have to be in good health. Tama? Because your, health, your age will determine how old will you be useful in the kingdom of God. Paano ba magsiserve kay Lord kung ugod-ugod ka na may sakit ka pa? Tapos 40 anos ka lang. Amen? If you are focusing on God, you will maintain a healthy living. Why? Because our body is temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yung bahay nga natin, pinapaganda natin eh. Ito pa kayong katawan natin ito, hindi natin naalagaan. Amen? That's why I praise God for the life of Pastor Ernest. He is already, you know, 
65, nakakasit pa yun ng three points. Ako nga malapit, hindi ko masit. Amen? It's because He is taking care of His body. Noon, wrong ko siya. Ngayon, Lord, Lord na lagi. Amen? And then here, there are three ways to that I, God has spoken to me. Focusing on God means you will eat the right food and at the right amount. Hindi yung matakaw. Oo, sikain na tayo. Alam ko naman yun eh. Nahihirapan din ako rin eh. Pero praise God to my brother dito because pag siya kasama mo, gulay lang masaya na yan. Bigyan mo lang ng lechugas yan tsaka okay na yan. Kung may hamburger, kanya gulay, masaya yan. But, but tama yun, no? Like, let's look at the Bible. This, again, no? this is another uh, revelation from God. Let's look at this. And God said, Behold, I have given you all the, every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed and its fruit, you shall have them for food. Before the fall, ang plano ng ni Lord, God's plan for us as food, are fruits and vegetables. Before the fall, take note, before the fall, But after the fall, nung nagkasala na si Adam at si Eva, kumain na sila ng karne. Bakit? Because they will have a hard time doing labor because the ground is first. So they eat carbohydrates. Tama ba mga nutritionist tsaka nurse? Kailangan natin ng carbohydrates sa katawan. And we can get that one from meats. Amen? But the original plan of God is for us to eat fruit and vegetables. Okay. Tayo. Hindi sinabi mo yung vegetarian, mahirap palang KFC eh. But we have to control our diet. Hindi yung pili mong manok dyan, ah, pinga! Kahit wala nang makain yung kapatid mo, tinabi mo na. Minsan sa isang, sa isang pinsang malaki, sa akin lahat yan, dalawa lang sa inyo, walo sa akin. Ang takaw, may tinatama ka. Hindi ko Amen! But think about this, no? Think about this. The carnivores. Carnivores are flesh-eating animals. The lions, the tigers, the snakes, the alligators, they are all uh, carnivores. They all eat meats. But look at them. After they eat, tulog. Tama? Yung mga... Isip ba? <laughs> yung mga... Those carnivores, when they are full, <sighs> ganun na sila. Nagiging ganun ba tayo? But, those... Veggie lovers, like the horse, the cow, the carabao, the goat, the sheep, masisipag sila. They are hardworking. The horses, the sheep, and the cow, those vegetarian animals, they are, you know, hardworking and they are tame. Paamo sila. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Look at the person beside you. Tame. <laughs> Amen. Sabi nga, you are what you eat. Tama? Pansinin mo, pagkakain mo ng maraming KFC, ay, bye. <laughs> Nagmamadali kasi natok na eh. When you will eat a lot of chicken or meat or kung ano man, nasarap pa naman magluto niya na Sister Bert, niya Sister Tess. Uwi yan na kasi natok na eh. But you know, we should regulate the food, we should be juicy. Hindi masama kumain ng karne. It's not bad to eat meat, but we have to regulate our diet. Amen? We should eat more on veggies and fruits. Sister, marami kong pinrekarkan. Mamiya, ha? Ikakarin ka. Bukas na yun. Amen? Praise God. Kung gusto mo maging sexy at maganda, if you want to be pretty and beautiful, eat vegetables. Sure yun. Magiging kutis, kamatis ka. Ako rin kamatis. Nabulok, nabulok lang. Amen? Next. Having a proper hygiene. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Is he proper hygiene? Amen? In the Bible, it says that to Deuteronomy 23, 12, 13, I'll read this one. You shall have a place outside the camp, and you shall go out of it, and you shall have a trowel with your stools, and when you sit down outside, you shall dig a hole with it, and turn back and cover your excrement. This instruction was given by God when the Israelites were in the wilderness. Remember, in the wilderness, wala pang si Aram. There's no toilet there. So what God is saying, you, you should get a, a, a stool, a pat-pat. Hindi naman pangunas yun, ano? Panghuka yun. Pagpupupo ka, huhukay ka, tapos dun ka, tapos tatakpan mo. God is telling them that you should be clean. Amen? You should maintain your personal hygiene. Maglagay ka naman ng roll-on. Mag-toothbrush ka naman. Wala siya si Kaya niya. Amen? Doon kami katabi mong ganda, dyan po kayo. Look at the person beside you, good looking and handsome. Amen? Because they are taking care of them, 
ourselves. Amen? And that's what God wants us to be. We are ambassadors. Don't forget that. And ambassadors have a proper hygiene. Amen? Amen? The next, taking care of your body. Taking care of your body, working. Hello? <laughs> yes! God has said, tell to us, six days you will labor, and one day you will rest. So our body is designed for work. The moment you retire, exclusion ka, Pastor, ha? Alam ko, you're very hard working. Pansin niyo yung iba, those, all, the, all these people, when they retire, they stop at their homes, sleeping and sleeping after several months, because they are not working anymore. Tanggalin mo kayo, ibang matatanda, those other oldies, they say, no, 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 I want to work because my body is, you know, is used to working. That's why they go business, they, they trade, they go to places, because our body is designed for work. Amen? Sabi mo, gusto ko magpahingay, kahit naman matulog ka ng one week, pagod ka pa rin, paggising eh, tama hindi. Even you sleep seven days a week, when you woke up, you're still tired. Sleeping is not relaxing na gano'n. Only seven hours lang. And then, doing exercise. Praise God, the wow are doing Zamba. Zumba ba? Ano ka ba? Praise God, Zumba, Zamba. Zumba. Nagsusumba sila. Kaya pag may Zumba classes ko rin, punta kayo kayo na sister. Sister Lisa May, nagtuturo. And then, the MGM are doing basketball. We have to have regular exercise. Ngayon lang tayo na wala ng exercise kasi may tayo shooting, but magkakaroon ulit. Ang Papa, Brother Oscar, So, invited everybody, mag, mag may basketball, you should have this exercise. And praise God po, because God has given us higher college. Kapag basketball tayo, it's a favor from God. Amen? Amen? And then, proper rest and sleep. Matulog ka sa tamang oras. Yung iba kasi, dinadala pa nila yung trabaho sa bahay. Don't bring your work to home. Because you will jeopardize your time with your family. Pag nasa work ka, work ka. If you are at home, Be a father, be a mother. Tama? Ako tinatamaan, tinignan ako ng anak ko. <laughs> Do not abuse your body. Amen? Do not overwork. Come to work on time. Leave at work on time. Because why? Because after that, you will not be too productive. Your productivity is that eight, nine hours. And God designed us for us. Amen? Don't bring your work at your home. Otherwise, masisira yung plano ng Diyos. Amen? Praise God. Maliwanag. Una pa lang yan. Number two, you have to obey God. Number one, we have hope. We have to focus on God. Number two, we have to obey. What's the use of focusing on God? Kung hindi ka naman sumusunod. Amen? Ay, nagba-Bible study ako. I'm attending Bible studies and worship services. Pero pagkadating sa bahay, kalas. Amen? If you love me, you will keep my commandment. Jesus is saying to the disciples that if you will love, if you love me, You will keep my commandments. You will follow me. Take note, we are not following Jesus. We are not following God for us to be saved. That's a no-no. Jesus has done everything in the cross of Calvary. Kaya sinabi niya, it is finished. Wala ka na kailangan gawin para maligtas. Ligtas ka kasi namatay siya. Ang tatanggawin mo lang, tatanggapin mo siyang Diyos at tagapagligtas ng buhay mo at susunod ka sa Kanya. Ang pagsunod, The reason why you and I are here right now is not because to earn our salvation, we are already saved. But we love God, kaya tayo nandito. Kaya tayo naglilingkod sa Diyos kasi mahal natin siya. Hindi ba tayo? That's the reason why we are having, sabihin na natin, we are working very hard for our children because we love them. Amen? And it's the same with God. You and I are playing organ beautifully or dancing beautifully or singing beautifully because we love God. Amen? And that's one fruit of the Holy Spirit that the people will see in you. Pag nalaman niya, sin kaya ito? They will see that you, they will see that you are sin if you are doing everything for the glory of God. Amen? And then, but seek first His kingdom and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. The beauty of God, He will ask us to do something, may blessing. Amen? Sabi niya, una si Lord, and then, everything will be given to you as well. Una si Lord, hindi una si misis, hindi una si anak, hindi una si tatay. Una si Lord. Amen? And then number three, read and meditate the Bible because the Bible is our guide. Bible is our constant guide in life. Hindi yung telanovela, hindi yung the legal, well, yung iba pag legal white na, galit-galit na, nasa isang sulok, nagbabas, nanonood na. 
first and warm, now somebody's helping me to get out of this hole. You know what the cat did? Pagkatapos, nilinis siya. Tapos kinain. And then the cat ate him. Nilinis naman siya. You know, the, the moral lesson of this story is that all our friends, but the only friend is Jesus. Amen. I must say that don't trust the person beside you or the person or your brethren. Of course, we have to trust them. But do not put your full confidence on them because you can't lang dapat. Amen? Amen? Maliwanan po? Amen? Number five, abandon all unwanted baggage. Excess baggage. What are those excess baggage? If you're on a journey, imagine this, and you are carrying 100 kilos, do you think makakilos ka? If you're on a journey, then you're carrying this 20, 20. I don't think you will have a, 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 a long distance walk. Leave all behind that will slow you down. What are those? Fear, worries, guilt, past, jealousy, envy, pride. Leave all those things that will hinder you from reaching your promised land. Do not be sad pag hindi ka pinansay ng kapatiran mo. Minsan kasi hindi ako pinansay ni Pastor. Hindi ako kinamay ni Pastor. Hindi ako pinicture ni Pastor. Huwag ganun. Hindi mo rin naman alam kung pinagdadaanan nila. You don't know what is on your mind that time. Maybe hindi ka lang talaga napansin. Yung iba kasi, they put their full trust and confidence to man. Hindi ako pinansay ni Brother Marlon. Wala siya nakabakas yung pasisyon niya. Amen? Huwag ganun. Hindi ako kinamayan ni sister. Eh mali mo naman. 